Well, hey there. Just in case you didn't know, it's March, March 1st, and that means March Madness. March Madness, college basketball at its finest. It's the men's basketball tournament. I've been doing the bracket here, the Ken's Talk bracket sprat for at least four or five years now. And we have, we've got the file prepped for the new year, even though the selections don't happen until March 15th. And I've added some things here so that when the teams are announced on March 15th and everyone starts downloading the file, there's a little uh, fun area in here called Team Matchup Analysis. I've been asked to do this before. Help pick the winners, right? I've got all the teams here. There's like 300 and 351 of them, I think. Uh, teams in the conferences and their current stats, and these stats get update, updated automatically when uh, whenever I run a query in this file. And so what it does is it allows you to say, all right, you know, if there's a game that's going to happen, and you're like, all right, well, Arizona is going to play, uh, let's say Arizona, Arizona's playing George Washington in one of these rounds. This will tell you what conference they're in. Right? This will tell you what conference they're in, Pac-12, and what they're ranked. So Arizona's ranked one, uh, ranked first in the Pac-12 right now. And in the A-10 conference, George Washington's ranked seventh. Here's their wins. This is a little data bar comparison. It kind of shows you who's got more wins. It gives you a check mark here if the team has fewer losses than the other team that you're comparing it to. Win-loss percentage in comparison, points per game comparison, and then points against, and it gives you a check mark if it has a, a the opponent's points per game are lower than the other opponent's points per game. So Arizona would be you know, a big favorite based on all these numbers, right? So you can do this for any two teams. You can say, well, what happens when uh, if Arizona takes it deep and then they end up playing a team like Kentucky, which is 29-0. and 0. I mean, look at that. Um, points per game is a little less, and the opponent's points per game is very good. You know, what happens if Kentucky would play Duke? Let's see. Let's find Duke. Or Connecticut. What happens when Kentucky plays Connecticut? Look at that. Connecticut, I guess, not as strong this year as usual. How about... We'll find Duke. So here's a Duke Kentucky game, right? See how close they are. Look at that. Duke does have five more points per game. They let more, but they score more. So there's a lot of things to look at, and it's a fun little addition. If you change any of these two cells right here and pick any teams there, you're going to get some information. And I also have this stats pivot, which shows all teams. So like I was sorting by uh, win percentage, and I, that's how I could tell that Kentucky was already still undefeated. And Virginia is a close second. You could also do this. You could say, all right, I want to sort these by, instead of win-loss percentage, how about points per game descending? Team that's got the, look at this, Northwestern State. Who would have thought Northwestern State has 84 points per game? They're only 16 and 10, but they seem to score a lot. They also apparently don't have much of a defense because they give up 84 points a game. So that's another way to look at that. Um, so pretty cool stuff in here. Uh, the download link will be in the video, and of course I have the master bracket. You know, this is going to be a file that you're going to send out to people. If you're running a tournament and you've run one through one of my files in the past, you probably know how this works. But if you haven't, um, people are going to fill out this bracket once it's ready in the new year, and then as soon as they're done, there's this area here that's going to give their results, and you grab this area, <clears throat> which is called Apex. It's this area here. You're going to copy it. And then you're going to go into another file I have called the master bracket file, and you're going to paste it, and you're going to be able to run your entire tournament with hundreds, even thousands of entrants, and it's going to be all automatic so that whenever you know you pick the winner of the actual game in the master bracket, everybody's uh, stats are going to be updated, and everything's going to be all set, and you won't have to do pen and paper, and you won't have to kill yourself. I've been doing it for years, and everybody loves it, and uh, it's going to save you a lot of time. So. Um, so that's what's going on. I, it's March 1st, but you'll of course be hearing more from me this month because March Madness, you'll, be here, you'll hear more from me probably on Selection Sunday. I'll be the next video. And uh, you can email me, ken at kenstalk.com. Uh, you can go to kenstalk.com, but there may not, I'll probably set up something on the site for that. But just email me is the best thing to do and follow the YouTube videos and you'll be good to go. So happy March Madnessing. And I guess as of right now, I think Kentucky's the team to beat, but... We'll see what happens. So, Ken Stokes out.